So guys, today I'm going to be doing a review on the Core 15 M4. Um, haven't really seen a lot of good reviews on this, so I thought I'd do one myself. Um, and I'll talk about it a little bit. So Core 15, Core 15 is out of Ocala, Florida, and they are making some better than mil spec uh, tolerances on their rifles. Um, just to give you a few specs on this rifle. Um, it is a mil spec forged 70-75 T6 lower receiver. Um, it has a, a Type 3 hard code anodized finish. Got the beveled magwell there. Um, which comes pretty standard on most ARs. Um, and uh, your upper receiver is also mil spec forged 7075 T6. It's an M4 upper receiver and also has a hard antidote uh, finish, anodized finish, excuse me. Um, it's got a 1913 Picatinny rail flat top. Uh, it's got a dry lube internal finish and laser engraved T markings, very good machine markings on this rifle. It is chambered in 556 NATO or 223 so you can shoot both out of this rifle no problem. Um, it is a direct gas impingement rifle. Um, gas tube is made of 3 or 4 grade stainless steel. It's a chrome line um, steel bolt, ca bolt carrier and bolt carrier key and that is the bolt carrier group is magnetic particle inspected. Um, it's got an A2 standard flash hider on it, F mark front sight posts, um, and this has the uh, Magpul furniture on it. So this is the case you get with it. Uh, it comes with a hard shell plastic Core 15 case. So pretty standard, nothing fancy, just your basic foam um, inserts there. The rifle, the rifle did come with one 30-round P-Mag. Um, everyone knows these P-Mags are pretty awesome. They're tough, durable, reliable, um, and they're pretty much all I shoot is P-Mags. They're way better than the standard um, steel GI uh, magazines. So you do get a 30-round P-Mag with it when you purchase a Core 15. A lot of companies are doing that now, um, just because. It's a nice accessory to have with your rifle. Now the rifle does come standard with a standard plastic handguard. Um, as you can see here, um, again, nothing wrong with that, uh, but um, I upgraded it. You got your heat shields in there. I just upgraded it to the Magpul MOE um, handguard. Uh, a little bit lighter. Um, I, was, I mean, it's pretty similar in weight, but I like these a little more durable, and I like the way it feels and my hands better. I have big hands. I don't know if you can see that. My hands are huge, so I love the way the Magpul feels. Um, moving on back, it comes standard with your Core 15. It's a telescoping stock, stock six position. They have their name engraved in there. Um, there's nothing wrong with that. Um, it's a, it's fine. Um, but I just upgraded to the Magpul ACS mainly because of the larger cheek welds. I like the way they feel when you shoot. Um, and you have some extra storage compartments there. Um, it's a very nice stock. Highly recommend anything Magpul is good. It came standard with a um, A2 pistol grip, and which again is upgraded Magpul, Magpul parts. Um, so pretty much everything on this gun is, is Magpul. Um, but um, I picked this rifle up for eight hundred dollars at a gun sh at, a, at, a, at a local gun shop um, and that's back when the gun scare was happening I wanted to get an AR-15 before they got banned and turns out thank the Lord they didn't get banned um, but this is the one I picked up eight hundred dollars um, it's like I said the, the rifle is mil spec from head to toe mil spec buffer tube um, it's got an M16 bolt carrier group I'll talk about that in a minute um, and the barrel is chrome lined and one in seven twist. That is a chrome lined one in seven twist barrel, uh, 16 inch with a standard A2 flash hider, which I may upgrade later, but I don't really need to. Um, it does just fine. Um, but I've ran through a different, couple different configurations on this rifle. 
Um, I had a Daniel Defense Easy Car quad rail system on, and that was fine, but it was a little... For what I wanted to do, it weighed a little much, so I just went back to Magpul because it's, it's uh, a whole lot lighter. Um, but, uh, yeah, you know, then their aluminum quad rail. Um, but let's take a look at that bulk carrier group, and I'll break the gun apart and show you that. I guess so the weapon is broken down there, and I want to show you this bulk carrier group real quick. Um, it is an M16 bolt carrier group, um, and uh, take a look at the stakings on this. I'll put it down. Uh, very good stakings. Um, and if uh, there we go, if you're buying an M uh, M4 or an AR-15 for the first time, you want to take that bolt out and make sure that it is properly staked. Um, and that one is because what happens is if they're not properly staked these can come loose and you will be looking at catastrophic damage um, from your AR-15 um, but I'm not gonna break the bolt carrier down there's a million videos on YouTube about how to do that so it's pretty straightforward um, of course you just remove your pin there um, your retaining pin on the side there and out comes your firing pin which you see the the head of it in there it comes out and you take your cam pin out and you pull your bolt out and there you go it's broken down but this is very nicely done um, it's an M16 spec um, or it is an M16 bolt carrier group uh, it's gonna last you it's durable um, just keep it clean um, and uh, it's really well done I've had probably uh, probably over 3,500 rounds through my rifle. Never one once has a malfunction. No miss, uh, misfires or anything like that. Um, the only time it's ever uh, malfunctioned is because of user error, and that was my fault putting too many uh, rounds in a magazine. I have a PMAG that has the window, and you're only supposed to put 25 in there, and I lose count. And uh, sometimes I get a double feed because I put too many in there, uh, but other than that the rifle has never had an issue and um, I said it shoots awesome tight groups um, for a non free floated barrel and um, but that that bulk carrier group is very nice and they even sell these separately so if you buy a AR-15 that's kinda low low end and um, while this is still an entry level this is just the quality that you're gonna get from core 15 they really take a lot of pride in their their uh, their products and they uh, they do an awesome job so here you go here's the rifle again the core 15 m4 picked it up for eight hundred dollars um, here's what I wanted to talk about this right here the core warranty um, you read it you know it just basically says there's no fine print no exceptions no exceptions there um, it's been manufactured by US veterans all right. Um, it says if anything is not up to your standard accuracy included, if anything goes wrong, gets bent, broken, cracked, misaligned, tweaked, snapped, or otherwise, simply contact one of our professionals and we will work to make it right. If you're the 15th owner of the rifle, um, has seen 40,000 plus rounds, it simply doesn't matter. Um, so they will fix it. Um, that is one of the best warranties on the market right now. This is a lifetime warranty for the life of the gun. So if you buy this rifle, you want to pass it down to your children, and then they pass it down to their children, and they pass it down to their children, and they have issues with the gun, they can send it off to core, and they will fix it. It does not matter. Uh, that is one of the best warranties I have seen on a rifle. Um, so core stands by their products. So um, if you're looking for a rifle, maybe you're the you know you you are the first time AR-15 shooter and you're looking to get into the market uh, maybe you just haven't got around to it yet and you're looking for it Core 15 give them a look um, they make some great products great stuff like I said I've loved this rifle this is awesome to shoot I haven't had any issues with it whatsoever um, and it is a very tight rifle very nice well-built rifle it's gonna last you it's, it's probably going to outlast you, to be honest. Um, but look at Core 15. They're worth a look. 
Um, I'd put them right up there with Colt and Daniel Defense and uh, some of the other top-notch makers that are out there right now. I mean, uh, BCM um, is another good company, and I think Core 15 stands right up there with them. Um, and like I said, if anything breaks, they'll fix it for you. So that's that's a pretty sweet deal. Um, and I'll just close with telling you guys a little bit about the accessories I have on here. Like I said, everything's Magpul, um, Magpul handguards. I switched back to Magpul uh, for a couple reasons. One, um, like I said, I had a quad rail on here, and I could very easily, if I wanted to, put a low-profile gas block and get me a, you know, full length or you know at least a mid mid length free float barrel, and uh, cause I like to grip my rifle out front more. Um, but the Magpul is just light. It's durable and it's light and it's cheap. This was like 25, 30 to 30 bucks right there. And you can't beat that. Um, and it's it's gonna do fine. It's gonna last you the life of your gun. Um, a lot of people crap on the Magpul handguards because it's not a $300 rail. But you have these slots where you can add Picatinny rails um, at the um, 1 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and 11 o'clock on the other side. Um, if you want to add a light, and uh, let me flip it over and show you my light. So this light right here is an Enforce. Um, again, a, a pretty cheap light. Um, it just pressure switch on and off there. And it's got a good natural position for when you're holding the rifle and your thumb, and you're holding it out here, your thumb's right there. Um, so that's pretty nice. And it also has a safety um, so you don't hit it by accident and run the battery down. The battery's going to last you a while. I think it's a couple hundred hours of life on there. Pretty easy to change. You just, you know, unscrew your top and put another one in. And uh, pretty simple. It's got a couple, couple different settings on it. I haven't really messed with it yet. Like I said, just, uh, it's kind of new to my rifle, but it's a, if you're, if you're going to use your rifle for home defense, a good light is a must. And Enforce makes some good lights. Um, so give them a look. Um, Surefire is obviously the top name in lights, but again, expensive. Very expensive. So Enforce is a, one of those cheaper alternatives. And I really honestly like the way it's designed a whole lot better. Um, but again, getting back to the Magpul handguards, you see I just have a uh, Picatinny slot that um, you have. And uh, I'll, I'll do a review on this later, but very nice handguard. Um, I love the Magpul MOE. A lot of people knock it, but I don't because it's budget friendly. And my wife's not going to kill me for spending so much money on an accessory. So, um, But there it is, the Core 15 M4. If you're looking for a rifle, this is your first time in the AR business, you will not um, be disappointed with what you get because they very, very nice rifle. Very tight, very well built. And uh, uh, I would highly recommend you give Core 15 a look. They have a slew of rifles. Um, this is one of their entry level, uh, but again, it's all mil specs, so it's very nice. It's called the M4, just the Core 15 M4. And then they have, um, you can get it in different colors. Uh, I think it's Flat Dark Earth and OD Green. And I think they're coming out with a couple new colors, um, like a gray or something like that. Um, they have piston driven ARs. Um, you know, they, they have all different types of mid-links um, and stuff like that. Their TAC-3 is for more advanced shooters. Um, and just check out their website. It's core15rifles.com, uh, I believe. Um, but you can just type in Core 15 Rifles in Google and it'll pull it up for you. Um, very, very nice rifle. Um, highly recommend it. Give Core 15 a look. Um, they are building some great rifles. Um, so there you have it. Thanks for watching guys and uh, stand by for some further reviews and videos later. Thanks.